So let's talk about credit sweeps. Credit sweep is a term, it's a long, well-known term in the industry of credit repair. Keep in mind, credit repair has been around since 1980, even before that. Credit sweep is a term used to quickly repair your credit like that, uh, often within the advertisements of credit repair companies. If you ever hear the word credit sweep, then you need to be careful because it's probably most likely 90% it's a scam. Credit sweep is basically filing a police report, uh, writing up an affidavit, which is like, well, I'm from California, right? And in California, we call it a California jurat when you go, you know, in front of the courthouse, raise your right hand and swear. So it's like swearing. It's like making a promise. It's like swearing to God that this is the truth. And so you can do that, file a police report. And um, if you've been a victim of identity theft, then you got to do what you got to do. You can make a police report regarding that crime because it is a financial crime. And then you can send it off to the bureaus and then they will magically erase those accounts because you're not to be held responsible for them. And the protocol to do that is when they get a um, police report, I put off your credit report. Um, get a little bit more complex um, if if the creditor... Um, I mean, the creditors now, it doesn't really work. Now the creditors will um, really go ham in to proving that it wasn't fraud. So you can't do that, okay? So if you've never been a victim of identity theft, and it's kind of rare. Uh, typically, identity theft doesn't happen with people that have bad credit. They're targeting people with good credit. And so typically, these companies would highlight all of your accounts, erase them all, and then what happens next? What's worse than bad credit is no credit at all. Your score gets erased because all the payment history gets erased, and then they would offer to add trade lines on your credit report, primary trade lines, which don't work. I'll give you one example. What they do is uh, these collection agencies would basically, or people would buy collection agencies with already debt in those collection agencies. That collection agencies would have tons of accounts of reporting debt to the bureaus, like a person that owed a medical bill, a person that owed a car note, whatever. And they would change the information in the eOscar to report it as a positive account. And that would somewhat help the person because history that would be added on their report. It's a total scam. Before they used to do that, I don't know about now, but uh, companies used to do that and it, um, it eventually fell off, right? Those accounts don't help you uh, permanently. And they're not a viable means to add history. Uh, trade lines such as Major Financial, Carmel Financial, they don't really exist anymore. There's only one legitimate primary trade line company out there. And I think it's called National Credit Direct or maybe another company. I forgot the name. Don't I don't remember it, but I do have the owner's number. And we do use that for some of our clients. It's a third party that we've used and it works and it's great. It's actually a really good company. Uh, maybe I'll make a video. I should make another video on that later. But there's only one legitimate primary authorized user trade line company um, out there. Trade Line Supply Co. and National Credit Direct. Other outside of a um, getting a secured credit card or rent reporters or reporting your rent. Okay. Now, um, yeah. So if anyone is offering you a credit sweep to repair your credit. It's not the one size fits all solution for everyone. And so I'm sorry. So don't do it here at Pinnacle. Um, in our advertising, we demonstrate the things that we do. If a company cannot fully transparently present to you case studies of credit transformations, you know, credit limit increases results for their clients. And it's safe to say there's not enough information to make a call to work with them. I have a lot of people that call us and they never do their homework. That's why we don't pick up the phone here. Okay. There's a YouTube channel where we demonstrate to you results from clients. We show their faces. We show our clients' faces. We show their credit reports. How real can it get other than that? On our website, it has links to everything. So a credit repair company needs to be transparent. A lot of you people, you call these companies, you call these random people from bandit signs, this and that, and you think you're just going to get the truth out of them. What if they're lying to you? How could you prove that what they say is true 
or false. You're going to have to prove it. If you can't prove that it's false and you can't prove that it's true, then there's still not enough information. Duh. Okay. So why don't you work with a company that you know for certain they've helped other people. Okay. And then you'll feel comfortable with working with them. Okay. Um, you can call our number. We don't pick up the phone. There's a voicemail that tells you basically flat out to do your research. Here's the links. It's there. Okay. Stop being a baby. You're an adult. Do your homework. Okay. Do your homework. Some people become, get offended that I tell them that. Why should you be offended? Because the, there, there's a person that, there's a other person, there's an other type of salesperson that wants to basically tell you everything that you want to hear. I'm telling you to like, don't make any decision now. And they get pissed off. They're like, wow, you're rude. Where's the customer service? Well, those types of people are negative anyway, because if I try to sell them, give them all a bunch of free information, they're going to waste my time. They're never going to sign up. And then they're going to say, oh, I'm, I'm convincing them. I'm trying to sell them. Or if I tell them, hey, I put the power, the ball in your court and say, hey, here's the resource that you need in order to make a decision. You can do what you want. It's your life. They get mad. So anyway, I hope I hope that's not you because those type of people, they're the type of people to fall for the scams and the credit repair sweep people. Okay, they do it all the time because they call me. They don't like what I have to say. Then they go to those companies and out of desperation, hope and out of sh sheer trickery from the other person and their aggressiveness and their need to for you to buy their bullshit, they sign up with them because they are because they are aggressive. We're not aggressive in our sales, okay? We're never going to follow up with you, right? It's pretty pretty much cut and dry. You can make that decision whether or not you want to take this video and learn from it or not. It's your money. It's your credit, all right? Hopefully, you'll make the right decision. So credit sweep, if anything that I've described to you, getting results in 24 hours a week or two, close to that, then you got to run. Unless they can show it. I can 